Japan's ancient capital of Kyoto is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. The city attracts 5 million visitors on a monthly basis. And there's little wonder why with such fascinating attractions such as Pushimiya Nari and the thousands upon thousands of temples. Though there is one more site which is regarded as one of the city's best and the images of which have become synonymous with Kyoto and Japan alike. I am of course talking about the bamboo groves of Arashiyama. So sit back and relax as I tell you everything you need to know about this iconic site. The bamboo groves are found far outside of Kyoto city center in a region known as Arashiyama. Once popular among Japanese nobilities as a quiet retreat at the base of these majestic mountains, today it serves much the same purpose. Though rather than hosting emperors and shogunate rulers, today the area attracts visitors from across the world that come to enjoy the same serenity. As the area is within easy reach of the city centre, then it makes for a perfect day trip. And the bamboo groves aren't the only highlights on offer. The first highlight you'll come across is regarded as one of Kyoto's best. The 155 meter long, 1200 year old Tokasuyoko Bridge is considered the symbol for the region. Highly regarded for the natural beauty that surrounds it, it's often cited in many Japanese travel books. Though Kyoto has thousands of temples to choose from, Tenryuji Temple is one of the very best. In fact, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is considered one of the five major Zen temples in Kyoto. So stick that one on your list. If you're not looking for a spiritual experience, then how about a bit of a wild one? Well, at the Arashiyama Monkey Park, you'll get to spend your time with 120 Japanese macaques. But unfortunately, they're not quite the hot spring loving type. <coughs> Selfless self promotion. They're pretty well tamed, but don't let these furry little bastards fool you, they can rip your face off at any given second. That being said, you are allowed to feed them with the food that they provide there, if you dare. That's all very well and good, but who are we kidding here? You're there for one reason and one reason only. Everywhere pales in comparison to the majestic beauty and serenity provided by the bamboo groves. The long narrow pathway that carves its way through thick emerald groves of upward stretching bamboo has been the inspiration for countless artists, poets and photographers for centuries. On a breezy day, the forests come alive to a symphony of gentle creaks and rustling of the bamboo as it moves to the will of the wind. Poetry! Even better for the cheapskates among you, it's completely free and open 24 hours a day throughout the year. To get to Arashiyama, you have a couple of options. You could try to figure out the very complicated bus routes, but it's much easier taking the super efficient metro. From Kyoto Station, you can take the Hankyu Arashiyama line to arrive at the south of the region, or you can take the Sanyin line to arrive in the north. Additionally, if you have a Japan Rail Pass, then it can be used on the Sanyin line. I hate to do it, but it's time to burst your bubble. We've all seen the photos online of the vast emerald forest seemingly stretching for eternity. But it's nothing like that. Far from it, in fact. To be brutally honest, the bamboo grows might be one of the most overrated attractions in Japan. Don't get me wrong, the forests are majestic and the overall ambiance is incredible. But it's not what you envision it to be. First of all, it's essentially one pathway that lasts for only about 400 meters or so. So you basically finished it before you even started. It's not really a forest by any stretch of the imagination. It's just an overgrown garden. When I volunteered in a Buddhist temple, oh, would you look at that? I worked in a bamboo forest that was just as large, if not bigger than the bamboo groves themselves. This isn't really a rare sight to find in Japan. In fact, there are a couple in Kyoto alone. It just so happens that the one at Arashiyama has received much more attention than the rest. 
That's the first problem. So now onto the real issue. Every single photo you've ever seen of the bamboo groves have been completely void of people, except perhaps one girl wearing kimono trying to look cute. Mm. There's no way on God's green fucking earth that you would ever get that shot in real life. As with any other decent tourist attraction, it's absolutely swarmed by tourists, all of which are also trying to get that perfect shot. It's not a serene, tranquil walk through a peaceful forest. It's badging your way through a gauntlet of loud, obnoxious, camera-wielding fucking tourists. In those sorts of circumstances, it's hard to lose yourself in the moment and to truly appreciate the beauty that you're standing in. So how do people get those awe-inspiring shots with no one in the photo? Simple, they're heavily edited. Those eerily oversaturated shades of green are mist rolling in the distance while the forests are void of any people is completely cliché and what's more, it's completely fabricated. This is not the experience a traveller should expect. The only time that is possible to get that kind of shot would either be in the early hours of the morning or late at night. And during that time, you're never going to get that photo that you're picturing. All the lights are going to be on, the sun will be down. It's not the picture you're thinking of. You'll need to be pretty familiar with Photoshop in order to get the photo that you want. Is it touristy? Yes. Is it overcrowded? Definitely. But so what? One element of the bamboo groves which has remained faithful throughout is the majestic beauty of the forest. Despite not having the tranquility and peace that you envisioned, you can still appreciate how countless creative minds were inspired by this incredible bamboo grove. Visiting the attraction just needs to be taken with a little pinch of salt and lowered expectations. We tourists can't help but ruin a good thing. Just bear that in mind and try to appreciate what put these bamboo groves on the map in the first place.